Hey guys, I just want to show you how I easily record my DAW uh, with a screen capture software plus the audio, how I'm routing all the audio from Cubase, for example, and creating those tutorials. So this is pretty easy. All you have to do is install a couple of software. Um, so the first one is voice meter. The other one is the screen capturing uh, software OBS and both uh, software is free and you can get it uh, through uh, obsproject.com or vb-audio.com so once you install the um, the voice meter you also get a driver and the idea is to go to your DAW in my case that's um, Cubase and you go to to your studio setup and you need to select that driver the voice meter virtual ASIO and usually I'm using my, uh, my uh, audio interface uh, with the Crimson ASIO driver, but if I choose that, then I'll uh, just route the, the audio normally to my speakers and my uh, headphones, right? So that's not going to work. So once you select that, you'll see that in, the, in OBS, I can set, set up an, an input and basically connect the two. So let's see how it works. So the voice meter, I'm, I'm actually not using anything uh, special here. And I know that there are some, some guys that will set up the mic through uh, the inputs here. So I can select uh, line in SPL here and that will work. It didn't work well for me. I didn't like the sound quality. So what I wanted to do is I, I really wanted to do a couple of things. One, I wanted to have a better sound quality. And second, I wanted to um, put some uh, VST plugins on the, on the speech. So sort of to, to make it sound better. And you can do that through the OBS and I'll show you how. So I'm using the, the voice meter in, in uh, in essence, just to get the driver, just that driver that I showed you, nothing much. And in addition to that, I'm actually routing the audio back to my speakers. So I have some feedback here so I can, I'm, you know, I can hear what I'm doing. So right now, for example, I'm playing. And you can see, you can see the, the sound goes into my um, virtual input here now the the actual setup is that what i have in uh, in obs let's go to obs is that i have two inputs for the audio one will be my audio input capture which uh, in essence th that's really what coming in through the virtual um, as your driver from a voice meter. So let, let's go to properties and you see that this is exactly uh, what I need. I need the voice meter output. So the voice meter out, uh, output is the input for my, uh, for my audio. So in, um, in short, Cubase uses the voice meter driver to send out the audio that audio is then routed to the output of the voice meter and then captured by the OBS. That's the way it works. Now, the second input is my microphone. So I have uh, another input here. I renamed it to mic and you, you can see in the properties that this is my line in. So that captures whatever comes from my microphone. And I'm using a condenser microphone connected to my uh, SPL Crimson audio interface and it's set up here. And now that I have it set up, I can also add video capture device, which will actually capture whatever we see. And all in all, that's the way it works. Now I can also add um, a, 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 also a video capture device, which will be the, the camera, my webcam, what you're seeing here in the corner, right? So um, you don't have to use that. You can just remove it and definitely I'm not going through all the options of OBS and you, you should, I mean, th there are some tutorials around that, but basically you click the plus and you can add 
uh, audio input capture, audio output capture, um, display capture, and so on. So if, if you have other audio uh, inputs or you want to set it up uh, initially, so you, you select the audio input capture and you can rename it. And then once you click OK, you can select the device. So in my case, it was line in SPL, but I'm not going to do that now. I, I have it already. So uh, that's the, the new input device. Um, sorry, that one. And I can just remove it. Right click and remove. Yes, I'm sure. And so that, that's, uh, that's the way I'm set up. Very easy. Now, um, one very special thing that you can do with OBS which is not available if you're setting up your mic through the voice meter is that you can add some um, some plugins so here you can see that uh, I already have um, the first one is neutron elements you just click plus and you have a choice of compressor gain noise gate noise suppression and uh, a VST2 plugin which I already have here and you can just select from the list for example here all my VST plugins and that's very very useful because if you want to set up some EQ compression or whatever to make your uh, voice sound uh, better and clean then uh, th that's really helpful so um, so that, that that's it basically one very important point is to make sure that you have the same sample rate all the way. So my project here is uh, 48 kilohertz, right? And if you look at the voice meter, then you can see that it's also capturing in 48. And, and also my output is 48. And if you go to, um, to OBS, you can uh, click settings and you have all kinds of settings here but let's have a look at the audio and you see that I'm, I'm set up with 48 kilohertz make sure you have the same sample rate all the way now if you want to have the same setup but stream your uh, your session to Facebook for example you just have to set up um, the streaming here you see this is um, uh, your streaming um, service here you have YouTube you have mixer you have uh, whatever all these um, usual um, ways to stream and you, you can select for example Facebook live and what you need to do you need to uh, to just put your stream key here and the way it works when you when you go live in Facebook it will give you a key that key must be um, must be um, pasted here so I, may, maybe I can try and do that right now for you so I'm going to Facebook and I'll go to my page right let's go to my page and I can go live and when you go live you go connect and you'll get a key. That's my stream key, right? I just copy, just close that, leave. Don't want to do it really. And then I'll just paste it here and click OK. And then I'll cancel for now. But then instead of start recording, do start streaming. And that's the way to go live with uh, your DAW Having, having your sound from, from your session and everything else is set up. So I think that's uh, pretty much it. If, uh, if you like it, um, you know, then uh, leave a comment. If you have a question, leave a comment and subscribe if uh, that's not too much trouble. And I'll, I'll try and add more and more videos uh, soon. So uh, see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.